What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, and I'm finally back. It's been a crazy year. 2018 had some positives for me as well as negatives, but that's here nor there. Now we're going to get back on schedule. And since we have a lot of news to talk about, let's jump right into it. Starting things off, we have a bit of new information for the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Semi-Frozen Yellow. Now, as most of you know, they are set to restock on December 14th. Well, at least that's what Adidas Originals Twitter account says. However, Yeezy Mafia has said that the release has been pushed to December 15th. Not a big deal, just a day difference, but that has yet to be confirmed. So as of now, I'm still going to lean toward Adidas Originals info, but it is possible that the date has officially been changed. But for those that don't know, retail price will be 220 once there is official confirmation, I'll make sure to put it in the next news video. Next up, we have a few Yeezy Boost 700 releases to talk about. And right here, we have what's being called Inertia. Now, I have no idea what actual shade Inertia is. It could be the gray. It could be that shade of pink slash peach on the midsole or even the light gum outsole. But this pair, just like the others, will come constructed with a suede and mesh combination. Now, as for specific release information, that isn't known as of yet, but they are expected to drop sometime during spring of 2019. The second pair of Yeezy Boost 700s to talk about and the last pair from Adidas Originals today is being called Analog. Again, I don't know how the name connects to the colors, but here we have what is expected to release. As you can see, there are shades of white, off-white, as well as gray, and all shades are pretty much spread throughout. We have a gray outsole. And once again, no specific release information. They are expected to drop sometime in spring of 2019. But as soon as more details become available, definitely will make sure to update you. The month of December will also bring us a new but old colorway of the Nike LeBron 3 coming back in retro form. So this pair is known as White Navy. This was an original release that came out during 2006. Now, as you can see, it does feature a white, navy, blue, and silver color combination. We have white and navy blue accents throughout, as well as patent leather on the overlays. In addition, we have a bit of silver throughout and the lion's head on the tongue, while the LBJ lands on the debris, medial heel, and insole. Now, as for the release details, these are dropping December 20th, and the retail price will be $175. More in Nike LeBron news, we have a look at the LeBron 16 Superman, which is inspired by the 2005 LeBron 3 PE. Now, back in 2016, we did see LeBron wear this pair. Well, not this specific pair, but the LeBron 3 Superman. And there was some rumors that a retro would come out, but as you probably already know, that didn't happen. Now, for this pair, they feature white battle knit across the uppers. We also have royal blue patent leather that lands on the overlays, a bit of yellow and red, which completes the Superman look. Now, as for release details, we don't have much as of yet. The shoe actually has started to release at select retailers overseas, but as soon as more details become available, definitely will update you. Next up, we got a release that I'm actually looking forward to. This is the Concepts Nike SB Dunk Low purple lobster now this will celebrate the 10th anniversary when concepts and nike sb first connected on the red lobster now here we have release information i know you guys probably already seen pics by now but they'll first release on december 14th exclusively at concepts in store and online at 11 a.m eastern standard time on saturday december 15th they'll be available at select nike sb skate shops Lastly, they'll be available on December 17th via Nike sneakers. Now, the retail price will be 130 I expect, you know, there is some hype for the shoe. A lot of people like them. And I know in some of the Nike SB groups that I'm in on Facebook, I see a lot of people upset about this hype. But it is what it is. Expect a higher resell price at first if you miss out, but they'll come down. There's also going to be a Green Lobster pair releasing and then an orange lobster. The orange lobster is expected to be a friends and family exclusive. The green lobster I heard is on the limited side, but more details on the way. For our last bit of Nike news for today, the Nike Air Max 98 will release in 2019 to celebrate Chinese New Year. 
Now we have a detailed look at the shoe, but I have yet to actually go over it with you guys because this is my first video back in probably a year. Now, as you can see, it does feature the lotus flower across the uppers, as well as Chinese artwork. The lower part of the shoe, that will feature snakeskin as well as pony hair with red patent leather. In addition, we have two accents, a reflective racing stripe, speckled detailing on the rope laces, and gold accents. Finishing this pair off is a white midsole and a black outsole. Now, to me, this pair is really, really clean. Sadly, I don't have release information as of yet. I'm going to find out soon, but expected to release sometime during February of 2019. On to Jordan brand, probably everybody's favorite part of the video. At least that's what I remember back in, I think, what, 2007? Maybe I did some videos in 2018. I don't remember. But here we have some additional information on the Soulfly Air Jordan 1 collaboration. Some of you may know the release got shut down by the police. Now, there is some videos going around. I didn't really want to share them just because that honestly sheds a bad light on the sneaker community and... You know, it is what it is. I know it comes with it, but I'm really not about sharing that. I'm not a fan of it. But what we have here is a, some good news for some people. First, let's talk about the shoes itself. We have a leather pair as well as a patent leather edition. Now, the patent leather is expected to be very limited. And the leather will be limited, but it'll be a bit easier to obtain. Now, since the release got shut down, there will be another release. Soulfly did announce that they're going to announce themselves a date to come. Now, at the time of shooting this, I don't have the date. I'm not sure. More than likely, it'll be an in-store release. However, there is a possibility that an online release could take place, which will help many people that aren't in Miami. Retail price for each is $160. As soon as additional information is available, you can expect it in the next news video. Some of you may know that Travis Scott and Jordan Brand will expand on their collaborations in 2019. They will release the Air Jordan 1 and the Air Jordan 6. Now, previously, the image of the Air Jordan 1 has leaked. However, this is a Photoshop, and there was some other images a little bit blurry. But the highlight of the shoe, or I should say what sticks out the most, is the backward swoosh. Now that pair is known as Dark Mocha, and recently Travis Scott was seen during his Astral World tour in a new pair. Now this pair features tan on the overlays as well as black on the base. We have what appears to be the backwards Nike swoosh on the lateral panel, but it isn't known that this pair will have the hidden Velcro pocket on the liner, but the resale pair will. Again, we don't know if this colorway will release, but if you're a fan of the look as far as the backwards Nike swoosh, the Cell Dark Mocha University Red and Black pair is set to release sometime during April of 2019. We have some new information on the Air Jordan 12 Chinese New Year. Yes, the Air Jordan 12 is once again returning to celebrate the holiday. Now, this is just a preview and it isn't officially confirmed if this pair is the Air Jordan 12 Chinese New Year, but we do know that a new pair in 2019 is releasing. Now, looking closer, they feature a black satin across the upper, your traditional textile on the overlay, metallic gold detailing on the sides, and then if you look very closely, on the liner, we have a unique multicolor pattern, which is expected to link back to Chinese New Year. Now, we have a little bit of release information, not much, but this pair is expected to drop sometime during January of 2019. The official colorway is black, cell, metallic gold, and true red. Next up, we have new images of the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, known as UNC Patent Leather. Now, since I've been away, there has been quite a bit of images already released. So I'm just gonna go over it a little bit. As you can see, we have obsidian, blue chill, and white. Now, my biggest downfall is that this is going to be a women's exclusive release. I do believe they'll be available in extended grade school sizing, but more on that on the way. Now, again, this is expected to be an all-star release. Now, the release date for now is February 9th. Retail price is 160 2019 is the 30th anniversary of the Air Jordan 4, so that means some OG colorways as well as new colorways will return, and it's already looking like a strong lineup next year. Today, we have a closer look at the Air Jordan 4 SE Laser in black and gum. 
Now, some of you may remember back in the early 2000s to mid 2000s, Jordan Brand released a few pairs of the Air Jordan 4 that featured laser. They're going to do so once again. Now, you can see black plastered across the upper. We have white on the midsole, gum on the outsole, and red where it says flight on the tongue. Now, if you look really closely on the upper, you can see some laser etched designs. I'm not really sure what to make of it, but if anything pops out to you, leave it in the comments below. January 19th is when this pair is expected to release and the retail price will be 200. 2019 could also see the return of the Air Jordan 4 Cool Gray. Now, just a heads up, this is only a rumor for now, but for those that may remember, this colorway released back in 2004. Around that same time, there was a white and green pair that also released. Now, the color scheme of this pair is cool gray, chrome, and dark charcoal. Now, there is some varsity maze that runs on the outsole as well as hinted within the air unit. Now, the pair shown is not the 2019 release. This is, in fact, the original 2004 release. And like I mentioned already, this pair is not confirmed. Now, if they do release, it's expected to take place sometime during summer of 2019 and the retail price will be 190. Now this information I know you guys probably already seen, but I want to go a little bit more in depth on it. Now, the rumor is the Air Jordan 11 bread is making a return holiday 2019. Now, I'll get to it in a minute why I say it's a rumor. Just like the Concord release, this pair is expected to have a higher cut patent leather. Rumor is 23 stitched on the back. However, it could be 45. I'm leaning towards 23. We'll have to wait and see if this happens, the release in general. Now, this information came from Soul Heat on Feet. His info is always solid, and he pretty much shared this color scheme, the style number, and the price. So the colorway is black, white, varsity red, and the retail price is expected to be 220. Now, that colorway matches perfectly with the Air Jordan 11 bread. Now, in the past, we usually see an OG release and then following will be a new colorway and then an OG release. So it's very possible. Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen because nothing is confirmed that it could be some sort of remixed off the bread colorway, something totally new in 2019 and it not actually be the OG that we all know and love. Now, I hope I'm wrong on that. I just don't want everybody to point fingers at me saying, oh, you said that the breads are returning if that doesn't happen. But then again, you guys gotta point your fingers at everybody, not just me. But then on the flip side of things, next year, the Air Jordan 4 Black Cement, AKA Bread, is also releasing as well as the Air Jordan 6 Black and Infrared. So it seems that there might be going in the whole black and red releases and they're going to talk about some sort of history behind it but this will be many many months ahead i know the concourse just released and it's kind of crazy to already be talking about next year's holiday air jordan 11 release but if this does happen you can expect a high production number to be available but again a lot of people are going to want them you guys already know the drill but we can get all on that later on once we have confirmation and that recaps the news. Like always, we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to YouTube. Just want to take a second out to thank everybody for watching this video. If you do have a moment, make sure to hit a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe as well. Expect a new video more than likely tomorrow. I'm hoping to upload at least three days a week. I'm going to try for five. I'll be honest with you guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.